channel somewhere. I made it. These guys have traveled over 2,000 kilometers to get here. 3,000 kilometers. And uh, we're making breakfast. It's just gone 8 o'clock. This is how it's done. Dominique, master chef here. Superior special. Yeah. Back from the day. You used to make what they call Dominic burgers. You'd have that on top of a quarter pound of meat. You remember those burgers? Oh, yeah. With the egg. Yeah. Fried egg. Everything. No more burgers. No more burgers. <laughs> Okay, so we are here on a canal road overlooking a beautiful valley here and towards our right hand side towards the, uh, the east there is a Macmillan Pass. Uh, here Emma, is, Emma and I are setting up to paint the beautiful morning light. So Emma, what's your experiences so far painting in a wilderness setting? Uh, plus uh, doing the extreme painting. <laughs> uh, well, day one was, uh, you know, a little bit challenging. I feel like I've never painted before in my life. I'm pretty ingrained studio painter, so this is taking me right out of my element. But I love the outdoors and I love painting, so I'm giving it a try. Um, then second day, a little bit more success. Dominique left me alone for a bit to try and uh, put to practice what he was teaching me. And then, you know, it's getting better as the days go on. You start to realize you've got a routine, you know, with the meals and the cleanup and the dinners and the lunch, and that all supports you going out in the day. You feel like you, you've got support back at base camp or whatever, so you can be out here in the rain or whatever, trying to paint a painting. So then uh, yesterday it was raining and socked in and we went for a drive and uh, went into this incredible, amazing expanse of landscape up into the Mantung Mine and uh, basically committed quickly to sitting down after doing some photography and driving around to sitting down and doing a diptych right beside Dominique. And we were basically painting the same scene and you know, the result was two completely different paintings, but I was able to really apply pretty much everything that I've learned so far in this trip. And it, and it feels like we've been out here for a week <laughs> or more. And I think this is the official day three or day four of painting outside. So, you know, I'm, I'm getting more hopeful as the days go on, but the first day I wanted to throw in the towel and start some other profession. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> All right, so another couple weeks or three weeks left of painting outside and we're gonna head up probably to the Santa Elias Ranger Mountains in Kluani in Alaska depending on the weather and paint a little bit different landscape probably more full of uh, yellow poplars and less tundra Here another few days on the canal road and then head back to regroup in Whitehorse and on to another adventure Today, Dominique would like to give me an exercise on painting in negative and positive shapes and I think that will help me to understand how to simplify this amazing landscape. I find it pretty challenging to simplify because it's all so beautiful and I want to put all of it in the painting but you know I get lost and then the forms and uh, perspective and depth of my painting gets lost in the color so. All right so here we have um, a focus that way so we can see what we are talking about. So here we have a beautiful light hitting that mountain and you have basically three colors, right? Yellow, green, red on the mountain and then obviously variation of those values. So 
if you focus here on uh, my panel here as I'm gonna draw I I need to kind of squeeze that landscape in a little bit because obviously of the dimensions of the panel make it a little bit more dynamic Simplify. Find things that kind of pop right out and signify the character of the place. Overlaps, contours. Again, <laughs> typical. Typical.